Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today I have another tealing on my cask and it's a Pion Nior. Um, the Pion Nior cask um, refers to the cask it was matured in and it's a small batch collaboration whiskey. So that's kind of a series of tealing where they work together with other companies that use casks and use them for a cask finish. Um, Teeling is an Irish whiskey company. They triple distill their whiskey and here they use 80% um, grain and 20% malt whiskey. Do they say they use single, single blah, 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 Irish whiskey? Nope, it, um, it's not single malt and it's not, uh, yeah, it's not pot still whiskey either. It, or at least it doesn't say it on here. Not quite sure if it is, but I guess it is from their old production where they didn't have a distillery yet. And that means it's probably from some other big distillery they work together. So yeah, we know it's a, a blended whiskey from Ireland. And they even say how old it is. It is six years old, uh, well, six years matured in bourbon cask and then 12 months finished in these Pion Noir cask. I'll come to that a bit later. But uh, the distillery of Teeling, the new distillery, opened in Dublin in, I think it was 2015. Yeah, so it's five years uh, already open. I think it was in June, so five and a half years, something like that. Five and a half, nearly five and a half years. So with these six years of bourbon cask and 12 months finished in the Pion Noir cask, it's definitely from their old stuff and not from the new distillery yet. And yeah, let's go in detail about the, the whiskey itself. Yeah, 46% ABV, no coloring, no chill filtering, and the price around 40. So it's pretty affordable whiskey and a bit of an excitement as well as it has some exotic cask. The Pion Noir cask is from Germany and uh, I have to read that it's Pion Noir Spätburgunder, so uh, Burgundy, late Burgundy we call it in German, uh, from the um, vineyard of Reichsrat von Buhl, which is I think Pfalz or something. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, yeah Pfalz. And it's a quality vineyard, so it, it has a very respectable wine there. And it's yeah, it will will give it a really grapey and really exciting flavor, hopefully. So yeah, and yeah, anything else about that? Oh yeah, Reichsrat von Buhl. Yeah, probably that is their assembly. That is a lion that puts out its tongue. Crafted by Jack Teeling. Yeah, yeah, about that. So it's a kind of a collaboration between Germany and Southern Germany and Dublin in Ireland. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, already some, some grapey, winey flavor. Yeah, some really smells of wine. Mm -hmm. Now in the glass, it's very light with uh, yeah, a juicy wine flavor. Some cherries, sherry, not sherry, but cherries. Mm -hmm. Some, I don't know, grapes. It, it does smell a bit sour though. And also, yeah, that old vineyard smell, like an old cellar or something, or old wood, maybe these tannins, oak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's a, it smells of old wine, definitely of old wine or old vineyard. Mm -hmm. A little bit fresh notes in there, some some flowers so 
but the overwhelming flavor is oak, grapes, wine, yeah, everything about that. So the the finish is very present, very present. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, quite cuts quite some kick with the 46 percent mm. the flavor in the mouth it's just full flavored oakiness in the in the taste it does definitely have a lot of grapes also a little bit sour mm. so it's yeah it really feels like wine mm. I have a definite wine touch to it it's a bit dry though. It has a dry notes, oaky notes, mm, grape notes, a lot of red fruits as well. Very, very little sweetness. Usually whiskeys are more sweet than that. Hmm. Hmm. Well, so from my point of view, it's it's more subtle, heavy, oaky, tannins, grapes, wine, whiskey. That is quite a hefty one. Second sip, it warms up a little bit. But I think I've read here on the on the description that they they said it's not the description. Uh, we got that from the from the distributor that it's more. It it felt like strawberries raspberries and mm, i expected much more sweetness in here from from what i read online and from the distributor but it's a it does have a little sweetness and it's very has a distinct wine character but the the oak and the tannins really put it back into a, a hefty intense flavor rather than a sweet one mm. Mm. I like it. Mm. Now that I have second sip, more juicy. Maybe I just influenced myself there, and now maybe there are a few strawberries in there. But still, the the oak and the grape notes are definitely the dominant flavors for me in here. Mm -hmm. No smoke whatsoever. Mm. I think I still have a little, that little flatness. I don't know how to explain it very well, but the, the flatness, the, when you have a grain whiskey, a straight grain whiskey, you realize it's a grain, not a, a single malt that you definitely feel in, in this whiskey in here. But it's a, it's not a very expensive whiskey. It's a, I would say medium to a little bit lower priced whiskey. And for that, it's okay. It's good. It has, I think it has a good quality to price ratio. So if you see it on a cask, you might as well give it a little try if, you, if you're into the mood and you can afford it. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.